This is Tales of Heroes number 80 for August 12th, 2011. It's a trap! Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Sound Strategy Network, www.sound-strategy.net. We are almost live from the year 1944. And uh, can you guess what map we're on today? Take a look here. You got grassland, you got a little dirt track there, some picket fencing without the pickets, but with the logs. <laughs> I have no idea what those are called. What we have right here is Langris, ladies and gentlemen. We are on Langris. I am your host, Bridger, and with me, as always, is my venerable co-host, Rogers. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Bridger. I'm really looking forward to showing off this 1v1 for episode 80. Uh, it's got Sefa in it, and he is a great player, and I'm sure Stalex is of comparable skill since they're being matched against each other. So this should be a wonderful 1v1 match for you guys. Yep, Sefa's as the Americans in this game, and Wehrmacht is being played by Stalex. We haven't had a uh, American versus Wehrmacht 1v1 yet, I don't think. Uh, we did a couple of Panzer Elite and Americans, and we did a British in there at some point, but uh, this is going to be a good one. We're, we're going back to the old vanilla company of heroes. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, here we go. Let's take a look at the map. Langris, a very interesting map. You can see the right-hand side suffused with resources. Two plus tens of each type. The fuels are, uh, are closest to the bases here, and then you've got the munitions being in the middle. Then on the far left is the only other plus ten fuel on the map, plus a plus sixteen munitions. So it's a very interesting distribution of resources on this map, with the uh, victory points sort of scattered throughout the whole thing. It's, it's very difficult to hold the victory point right near your opponent's base. You really have to be dominating them in order to do it. Most of the time on this map, you're holding two of the victory points. You're almost never holding three unless you're really winning. So that's uh, kind of some of the interesting attributes of this map. Uh, what, do you, what, do you, what is your preferred uh, start on this map here, Rogers? I definitely have to say the southern location because the northern point is so easy to cut off with that uh, strap point right outside of the base. That is a huge cutoff point there, and a lot of players will immediately go for that point and start bleeding you and hide behind the hay bales and start shooting at you because then you can't get any resources from the right unless you do a magic cap and get the, uh, the strat by the victory point in the mid, and then you can link up the sectors if you have the 16, but it can get really dicey if a good player has a, an early MG, and he might be doing that because he went fast build his Wehrmacht, and he's going for an MG followed by a bike, so he might be going for some early aggression here, but it looks like he's, wow, he's capping with his MG. Uh, that's, a, that's the only problem I think with the fast build is it slows down your cap, and uh, it hasn't slowed down the Americans' cap. They already have their strat, they have the 10, and they have another 10, so they're definitely going to be in the resource advantage early game. I've actually been experimenting with a new American opening where I, uh... Oh! Machine gun found the rifleman. Nice maneuvering by Sefa, getting him out of range. Into the building. Yeah, that, yeah that, that bike is definitely going to give him a good range uh, LOS bonus there for the MG, so that'll be great. Machine gun going into the building here, looks like. I don't know if that's a good idea, we'll see. Sefa's not close enough, he has to retreat. He's going to try to run him out. He got out of range there. So doing a lot of dancing on the right-hand side here, trying to avoid the machine gun. Usually the machine gun in a building like that does uh, force the American player to avoid contact for a while. Uh-oh! This can't be good. Right next to the, the uh, VP here. Objective secure. Squad machine gun just avoided uh, shooting at him. They hit the retreat button just in time. That was a really good retreat there. I like to see that. Not Meanwhile, a single loss, no damage. A flanking uh, fight, rifleman sir. squad in the middle here. One of the things I've been trying Our recently with the Americans, I got a couple of uh, American plays today and some auto matches, is that I've foregone the first uh, engineer build and just built a barracks and then two riflemen back to back and then built a third rifleman and then built my second engineer squad just because they cap so much faster. So especially on the bigger maps, having an extra rifleman squad instead of an extra engineer can be quite useful. I've been playing around yeah. with that. If it's a close if it's a close quarters map, if it's a small map, the two rifles can definitely give you a hand up. I'd say I don't know about against PE because they have the the Kettengrad mm -hmm. and they can cap all around the map. But uh, against Brits, or wait, no. against uh, Bear, it could be a good build. It depends on the map, though, I think. 
So the American player does not have enough resources yet to put flamers on this engineer, but he did flank that machine gun. He just doesn't have the ability to really shoot at it. He's got other things to worry about right now. Good play by the by the Stelix, the Wehrmacht player, keeping his units together, supporting that machine gun. Yeah, he definitely he definitely pushed him off the right hand side, but on the left he lost a Pio squad by the fuel point Ooh, because he was too busy microing all his attack forces on the right. So that 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 happens too bad. though. He's... Sometimes you have to put your priority. Mhm. Mm yeah, absolutely. It's a bigger battle. It's kind of interesting. Sefa's running, uh, running around with this rifle squad, trying to get these forces out of place. So if more troops come down from his base, the the MG is going to be alone. I kind of like seeing that. It's kind of interesting. Well, yeah, I mean that's attention. the that's the uh, the golden rule when you face uh, machine guns in a, in a position like that is you just don't go there. You get everything else. They have one machine gun. They cannot stop you from taking the rest of the map unless they move it. And when it moves, it's vulnerable. Uh oh. Sniper, I don't know if it missed or not, but it it, uh, it got charged by engineers and it didn't even kill one of them. I think yeah, he maybe he didn't cloak it. And missed, we are losing a sector. So he's cross-eyed. Yeah. Snipers do have a lower chance of hitting the closer they are, which is an interesting situation there. You want to keep your snipers at maximum distance because they lose the ability close up. Flaming Pios. Going to get completely rolled here by three rifle squads. There's yeah, the sniper just up the middle right now. Supply in a really great broken. position behind we cover there. Out of supply. If they had charged it, they would have run into, uh, well, not really run into the machine gun, but he would have been safe pulling back to the machine gun, I mean. Sniper! Still getting picked Look off. Sharp, yeah, I don't know. This, uh, the middle right now is what the American player is using as the Red Ball Express, so to speak. He's just coming down here. And it's allowing him access to the entire southern right, and it'll it'll be huge cut off, uh, cut off time yes. for the Wehrmacht player. So this could be very big. Ah, uh, but nice use of that sniper is just sitting in the base, keeping the American player from standing too close. Let's take a look here. What's your income Enemy for your uh, resources? We have uh, 285 for manpower, 32 for munis, and 21 for fuel. All right, so 21 for fuel over here as well, 37 for munitions. It's pretty close, but 256 for manpower rate due to the three rifle squads on the field. But that is slowly going away. It's the snipers just picking them off one at a time. Seth is just keeping them moving instead of retreating them. He's keeping them harassing and forcing his opponent to really deal with them. Finally retreating that squad, retreating that squad. Zephyr did a great job cutting off that fuel because he went from a plus 21 income to a 10. Yeah. So. And not only did he cut it off, he also reduced it all the way down. So now it's going to take a lot longer to get back into uh, friendly hands. He's going to cap with a sniper. That's interesting. And he did manage to take away the plus 16 on the left. And munitions are much more valuable to the Wehrmacht than they are to the Americans as a general rule. Everything that the Wehrmacht buys in tier 2 and 3... Uh, for upgrades for their infantry, all has to come from very costly 75 munitions upgrades on the Grenadiers and the Stormtroopers, etc. So that's how they can get their infantry upgrades. So without that plus 16, they are going to be hurting right now. Although they did have the two plus 10s on the right. It's a pretty decent trade-off. Yeah, it looks like Stalex is going to be watching. Uh, no, he's not watching near the VP. He's watching the southern point. He, might, he actually has a pretty good angle to hit middle as well as north. Uh, with that MG, and I was really hoping that he would move the MG over there or get a second machine gun, which he is doing actually. Awesome, and we have a pack out as well. Yeah, I so think... he's getting prepared for everything. Oh, he's already gone tier two. Interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. a uh, a second machine gun would be great in this position with all those riflemen on the field. But Hi. wow, a very fast armored car already out on the field. It's uh, actually it's not that fast. For some reason, I thought it hasn't been that long. But it is seven eight minutes here, and there's an armored car out on the field. Not enough forces yeah. to uh, defeat those guys on the left. Had some Front weak pyos and a sniper. Mm. Might still go down here as a huge set of uh, two rifle squad moves in. Yeah, that's right. You run away. Hi. So did they find the uh, the machine gun moved out on its own on the right hand side here? Uh, yeah, it moved closer to the southern uh -oh. middle. The second one is on the left, which is in trouble now. 
Wow, oh, look at that bike dad, movement. He's like nice. moving it back. Very, you, you noticed he, he put the bike in the way so they couldn't flank the machine gun. Very good micro there by Stelix. That was some cool maneuvers. That's beautiful. That's awesome right there. And here comes the M8. Interesting, the American player got, uh, Stel Ste Sefa got, uh, mine detectors on his engineers. I don't think he saw any, any mines yet, but he might just be preparing. Oh, jeez. That M8's already pushed off. Yeah, the Pac-38 there really did a number on him. Two shots. Get him out of there. There you go. Just barely made it, but it was worth it. Decapping the munitions again. Pretty bad for the uh, for the Wehrmacht. So yeah, most see. of the resources are in Sefa's hands, which is he's got the 16. He's got he's gonna get the 10. He's got raid. No, he's not. Okay, I thought he had. No, he was laying a mine, and it ah. kind of looked like he was capping, but he's not. That pack with the cloak is it's mm. it's hard to to really quantify how much that cloak really affects you as a, as an American player or, or as a British player. You just can never quite know where the heck the dang thing is. Yeah, it's definitely a cloak and dagger weapon, so to speak. I think it's finally more on par w with where it should be. Like, for a long time, mm -hmm. the pack was a joke. It wouldn't do any damage, and the cloak doesn't make up for the fact that it didn't do any damage. And then they overpowered mm -hmm. it when they patched it so that it would do... Uh, like three shots with the super cloaked, yeah. The super cloaked uh, critical strike thing, and then I think they got it right at the perfect level now. It does damage, decent damage, and it gets that one really nice uh, critical hit at the beginning. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that Stellex needs another Volk squad or maybe even another Pile squad if he wants something cheaper because he's been capping with this sniper because he's been desperate to have cap units in the sector where he doesn't. So. It's getting kind of dicey with him and having no capping power. Vet one he's, on... got, he's got four stationary units right now. He's got two MGs and two packs. Ooh. So. Oh. Man, those Volks were getting chewed up there by two rifle sniper squads. But that sniper, oh my god, it's got 17 kills. We could have the next Hans on our hands right now. I think we could. What's going on over here? They're building a weapon support center. And we've already got a triage and a motor pool, of course. Where we, at it? we still haven't gotten any uh, doctrine pick that I have noticed here. I liked this American squad that was just hovering over here next to the plus 10, hoping that somebody would come try to cap it, get hit by the munitions, and then could be finished off by the squad. Wow, is Stelex going to suppress the squad on the right, the flanking squad? No, he's just out of the line of sight. Yep. Wow, he just can't see him. Look at that. Wow. Oh, he doesn't know the MG's there, though. Enemy unit. What's going on over here? That's Sniper. Now at 19 kills. Oh, Panzerfaust forces off the uh, the M8 there. He he did some very good prediction there with his packs. Did you notice that? Without even, I guess maybe he could have heard it through the fog of war, but they just maneuvered over to this side as the armored car was heading over. Sniper's got a zero there. That sniper is hilarious. <laughs> Jeez, 21 kills now. The guy is hit blackjack. There. Yeah. Okay. And we've got a medic bunker up. What happened to the and troops on the right? Did they retreat? Uh, yes, the American was capping the 10 because he didn't know the MG was there because they were both covered in the gotcha. field of uh, fog of war, and so they, he had to retreat. We do have defensive chosen for oh. Stalex. Airborne for Cepha. Every I, I wish they would change the motorcycle back to whatever it was before, because every time I hear it go off, I think, oh, jeez, that MG-42 is on me. Oh, it's just a bike. <laughs> what the hell? Subterfuge. We've got air support available. It sounds so much more powerful than it is now. <laughs> True. The Germans are seizing territory. Looks like those uh, Americans in the building there are just a distraction for the main event here in the middle. Looks like it, yeah. I'd like to see some MP40s come up on maybe one of these Volk squads. Does Help him be a little munitions? bit more useful at close quarters. Uh, yeah, he does. He has 100 right now. Jeez, that sniper's still picking off people at range. 22 kills now. Ah, there's the M8. Now. Found him. Yeah. There's a sniper coming up center. American sniper. Ooh. Yeah. Sefa's doing... 
a really good job of, like, coordinating his squad so they both arrive at the same place and manage to, you know, double team or triple team. Oh, strafing run almost kills that the machine gun. That was a very gun. good strafe there, because it pinned everything. So yeah. now his troops can recover from the pin and they can move up. Yep. Yep, very good. Strafing run, 150 munitions. Yeah, but if it wins you a battle, bike. oftentimes it can be worth it. Got the bike. What happened to that sniper? It had to retreat. Oh, because so. the bike was chasing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's Hans with 23 kills. Here's Hans number two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Running into battle on close. Two snipers. That's oh, 600 manpower, but it's so effective. Oh, it's sniper bunker time, baby. Yeah, look at that. They're not getting them out of that bunker. That's a lot of dead Americans right there. Mm. Wow, look at the map, though, Bridger. I mean, it is totally is allies. 300 points. Yep, but he did just get a grenadier squad from the medic bunker. Seth is, despite most of the time losing out to those snipers, he's just been doing a fantastic job of maneuvering his squads to cap things where his opponent is not. He, he, even now, there's a squad here on the left capping stuff behind the lines. Wow, the American sniper missed the first counter, sni counter snipe. Oh my god. He missed the first counter snipe. Oh. I cannot believe Was he at long that. range or short range? Uh, he was at medium range. Look at, he's right by the uh, left side of the 10 munitions point mid. He's sniping now. I see him. It's not often that they miss a shot at medium or long range. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And again, Sefa putting the pressure on the left-hand side here. Pop medic packs on the snipers to heal him up. I like to see that. Definitely. They're way too valuable. I mean, 30 munitions is just nothing. Mm. Uh, my, my player is really... Stellex is really hurting for munis right now. He is down to 15. So that is, that's bad. Since, since he went defensive doctrine, uh, that's Ooh. a heavy munitions yeah. based doctrine. That terror. So he could be in trouble here. Yeah. Cloak your snipers, please, Stolex. Do it. Where are they? He must have not noticed the enemy sniper. No, he had to have. He has to have. Let's put some fear Maybe he's trying to bait it because he's got two snipers point. there. Meaning yeah, if, but... he, if, if he does shoot one, then the other one will get him. Yeah, but that's a that hell of a lot of manpower to that be is, playing chicken with. Right okay, there. <laughs> there he goes. He cloaked him now. You're true. It's true. Oh, jeez. Here comes this horde of Americans. And a second American sniper as well. Wow. Both sides going heavy infantry strategy here. Going for broke. <laughs> well, the pack means that the American player can't really go for... Uh, I mean, he's done a good job of... Uh-oh. Oh, that was just a recon. Sorry, I thought there was going to be a strafing run. Whoa. Germans are going to lose a lot here with these bars. Oh, boy. Did they just pop up? Must have. He almost lost that Gren squad if he and focus fires. Enemy unit down. Well, he's going to have to focus on those medics. Focus on the medics. Oh. He's going for the uh, the building there. Oh, my God. This is insane. Look at the those two snipers, need to get out. snipers getting in the building instead. Hmm. One down. Oh, it's a, it's a chicken shoot. XP. Oh, man. Airdrop reserves are now available. Might lose this. Wow, what, did this, what is this? Pavlov's house? Good lord. It might be. Forces are taking casualties. Oh, oh, that sniper did get saved in the house. He killed one of the American snipers, though. Yep, he got one of them. The other one's retreating. So which sniper is still alive? I can't oh. see because it's still in the house. Yeah. Hopefully, Mr. 35 or whatever he was at. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the map oh, here. God. The uh, the Axis managed to get the munitions point back on the left, which is, as you said, critical for their resources. They've, they've also got the... Uh, they picked up some bars on those Grenadiers. He needs a Shrek. Uh, the Panzerfaust are too much of an investment right now, especially how low he is in munis. He only has 55. He really needs to get a Shrek, and well, yeah. I mean, I guess he doesn't want to because he, he's invested so much in packs. But one of his packs is down and facing the wrong way, so that's going to take him a little while to reman and force the squad off. Well, uh, Hans number two has been uh, reborn. <laughs> he's back, but the the high kill sniper for the Germans got killed. Yep, I saw that. Flames. Yeah, they did reman the pack. 
Oh, oh, good hit. Under nice. Very good hit. Jeez, if, uh, I, I, that, that armored car would have been destroyed three times by now if I was playing. Oh, I can never, <laughs> I can never keep him out of the, the pack will appear. And I'm like, where did that come from? Ah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, far be for me to question Sefa's gameplay, but I would have flanked with those three squads. Oh, that was a rifleman. Sorry. Yeah, Jeez, look at this. He's using that. these grenadiers like riflemen. Yeah. He's using them like <laughs> Knights Cross, to be honest. Did he just? Yeah. Oh, he, there we got some. Uh, is that? For the fatherland. For the fatherland up, and he used the uh, the recon to reveal the sniper temporarily. I think that's what he did there. But I believe that the American player lost their sniper. And look but at he those. got one of the uh, German snipers. Yep. We got crowds here. The other German wow, sniper. No, there's uh, still two German snipers out. One is in the building. Oh. But jeez, the Americans lost so much there, and so did the Germans, but the Germans are just trucking them back to the medic bunker, patching them up and sending them back to the front. So that was, I think, a, a net loss for the oh, Americans. Yeah. I would have to agree with you. Yeah, he needs oh. to flank around because the MG is always going to be facing north, so he needs to be really careful. Oh my god, sniper and M8. Enemy unit. Got it. Oh. Oh boy! Burn it out on the road. Remember, things drive much faster on the road, just no, like that. Wow. Saved it. Good micro. Look at that. That's Sephir right there. Renowned for his uh, vehicle micro. Check out the pack on the left hand side. The guy's like, why can't we shoot them? We're right there! <laughs> Officer's all p pissed off because he's, uh, he's got that little left handed Luger. Planting a mine. Nope. Cancel. Cancel the mine. There they go. Let's get those munitions back. Play. The Germans are taking one of our points. So we've got Americans up here. Have you ever found a good use for airborne infantry? Anti tank paradox. Uh, well, recoilless rifles are amazing. Recoilless and rifles are charges amazing. take out bunkers like candy. Yeah. So. But but against infantry, they just don't no. stand up. No. Unless they have uh, can FG42s drop? I can't remember. I think they can. FG42s? Yeah. Or bars, you know, if you have a, an airborne squad with bars, they yeah. might be okay. there you go. Alright, here come the bars suppressed. Oh, they see the ADA, he should cancel that. Enemy unit down. Another recon. MG's getting They're murdered. They're crawling forward to the MG, because it's so weak. Oh, he should have just retreated. Does he have the ability to rip? Oh! Did yeah, they he canceled it. They canceled uh, it. Because he, the American player saw where it was. He lost an MP40 uh, gold squad. By the VP. Ouch. He needs to move up the MG on the right. That's not doing anything right now. We got him. We took them all out. Oh boy. This They've got for the fatherland. It's making them last longer, but not long enough. No. I don't know. And if he still hasn't repositioned the MG. Terminals. Now he's doing it. Finally. Does he have? Yeah, he probably has the ability to reinforce near bunkers. Yeah. Yeah, I'd imagine he. Yeah, he went. He went left side. So yes, he does. Come on, machine gun. Do your job. We oh, can snipe! Resources now. Mm -hmm. Go, Lucas. Go. I'm on it. Snipe yeah. him again. There you go. Wow. And he was expecting a counter snipe, but the only Enemy sniper out just got built. Enemy unit really? They got both snipers in the last one. Yep. Well, they that's right. We saw the M8 there. kill one of them. Oh, man. Rifles push back off. This is like a killing field here in the middle. And every time they have a skirmish, the German player just gets free units. Okay, I don't know what it is, Bridger, but that fuel point on the left is cursed. Victory because he left, he laid an M8 mine and it killed an entire Grenadier squad. Wow, no! Uh, yep, Grenadier squad, see the bodies on the left? Yeah. Yep, dead. I see and before that, Pios died, so the Germans are going to have to set up a war memorial over there. That's Yowch. That. 300 manpower down the drain. Well, maybe that was the one he got for free, for all we know. Yeah, it probably Actually, was, and I think that was the one with the bar, too. No, there's the one with the bar. He's safe. All right. Nice spot to bring the M8 into. He hasn't had any of the uh, packs ever watching that angle. Yeah, Stellux is getting a little overcautious here, I think. And for good reason. Uh, Seth has been pushing him very hard, but he's keeping his packs way back. You noticing this? Like, yeah. look at him on the map. So he's getting squeamish with them. He's had to reman him a couple of times. 
Yeah, he's sinking a lot of manpower into snipers. Both sides have, to be honest. Uh, second fair sniper out. So this is, what, the fifth? I think the fifth sniper. It's got to be. They've had two full yeah. turnovers. That's mm -hmm. probably the sixth, actually. Could yeah. be could be the fifth, though. Two American snipers also on the board. Yeah. You'll notice that sepha has got three rifle squads, and while a fourth rifle squad would be very powerful, the the amount of manpower soak is just too high. You almost well, he could never always get the upgrade, which he did. Squads. He did get the upgrade. That's still good. Both of them, actually. Both levels of upgrade. Oh, nice pin the sniper. Mm -hmm. Is he going to charge it with three guys? Force him to retreat? I'm going to try that. So he's got the, the weapon support center, but he hasn't gotten a... Uh... Oh, God. Two snipers against one. This is not going to go well. Yeah. He hasn't gotten a... Uh... Uh... Oh, he revealed him, and he cloaked him again. Wow, that sucks. He hasn't gotten a mortar yet, which would have helped him a lot with this bunker and the machine gun. He keeps opting for snipers instead. Oh, oh boy. One of our snipers is KIA. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Long range shot there. Marksman of the year. Uh-oh. You you notice that this pack they have they kept him in uh, hold fire mode waiting for Oh jeez the well, grenadiers I mean, the, on the right the almost got taken out. Pack is a fanatic. Yeah. And again the Americans harassing this munitions which the uh, German player has not been able to handle. Oh nice curveball there <laughs> hit the pack. Pack's been kept alive for so long, it's got a level of vet. That's awesome. You mean the M8? Oh, sorry, the M8, yeah. The pack <laughs> just exploded a whole bunch of boxes there in its quest to drive out the infidels or whatever. <laughs> Finally, Tier 4 coming up with an Ospin, because he has a ton of fuel. Nice. Like the American player has 290 fuel, too. He's actually getting supply drops in his base. Oh. He could easily get a, uh, a mortar now. I heard a sniper. Sniper's taking out the machine gun. He's relying on those again. Counter snipe? Or did he just hit a regular? Looks like he just he hit, hit a regular, regular guy. Both the snipers are still there. Oh, revealed. Enemy Sniped. Very oh, nice use of guy. air recon. Very cool. We'll shoot him. There, shoot him. He's uncloaked. Oh. Wow, this is I just got a whole ton of respect for the airborne tree that I didn't have before. The ability to mm -hmm. reveal packs and snipers like that is, is really cool. I never quite used it for that particular purpose. Because I don't play American very often. Wow, check out the right. It's in trouble. Yeah, until this awesome. Does he have sticky flank. bombs? Do you know, Bridger? Sorry? Does he have sticky bombs, the American? Uh, ooh, I don't know. I haven't seen him built. He might, though. And this is going to be a big problem unless he can reman the packs. I don't think that uh, Stellix is going to let him reman the packs. Mm, it looks like he's trying to throw a sticky bomb. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Is he going to make it out? No. But, wow, double vet squad going down. That was a huge loss right there. Definitely. Ostwind, uh, he's, he's got the airdrop to... Uh, Anti-tank gun if he wants it, but he's driving drop. right into a pack on the left. Wow, nice micro uh -huh. right around. Keep going. Oswin's gonna come over and help here in a second. Oh, way to miss M8. Way to miss. No, don't drive that way. Ooh, that was close. Uh huh. Well, we're getting Oswin's fam oh. now. He's in a second. The safest route out of the <laughs> enemies through their base. No, it's not. Oh, what was no, that? It's not. Oh. Was that the pack? Yeah, I think it was the pack. It's it spun must around have been, in yeah. time? Shit. I was really hoping he'd run into the brand new Osvin that just popped out of the Panzer. <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> wow, that. Uh, may he rest in peace within the enemy's Our base to be churned up and reused for parts. <laughs> Uh, Bridger, check out the left again. We have another Grenadier squad going Grenadier to the Cursed support. Land, and there's an M8 mine right there. They need to be really careful. I, well, he's, it seems pretty clear they took him around the outside to avoid any mines in place there. Uh-oh, Ostwind. 
Looks like he's going for the sticky. Maybe not. I don't know if he was faking that he had like sticky. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. We've got uh, 378 to 224. So, during the large chunk of the beginning of the map, the American player owned the whole map. And he had mm -hmm. two or three victory points at a time. But, recently, that center victory point's gone to the Wehrmacht every time. Ooh! A grenade from the Grenadiers! Actually does some decent damage. Casualties being reported. Wow! Ostwin oh, comes in wow. for the alley -oop And dunks it. Bad. Very bad. That's two squads down and both of them had veterancy. Yeah. It's hard to replace. But here's the hard <laughs> counter. Hello, Ostwin. Clink. Clink. Oh, yep. oh. But they just remanned the pack. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't do enough damage to make a difference. Enemy unit down. Very Here nice. comes the half track to chase the Sherman. <laughs> yeah. A strafing run takes out the pack. Now the Sherman is completely unopposed. Another pack coming into, uh, into orientation here. He's trying to drive behind this hedge. He makes it after taking a hit. Sherman has contact. Yep. Pull the Sherman out. Pull it out. I mean, uh, yeah, pull the Oswin back to try and make the Sherman come out. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the half track backing up like <laughs> Get I'm sorry. Out of there. Let me mute it down. Now the Sherman can go anywhere it wants. It's only got that one pack to worry about. It has to chase it, really. Unless. Hands are Shrek. I'd be doing it right now if I was him. Nope. He's getting one. He's upgrading Panzer Shrek. I meant Panzer Faust. I'm sorry. Yeah, he he did a Panzer Faust on it as well. Oh, okay. Oh okay. no, it missed. Is that another strafing one? Holy moly! Oh my god, that was brutal. He needs repairs. He's trying to. That mine went off on the left, Bridger. Really? And it kill almost killed the squad. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm telling got... you, that's a, the cursed land over there. It's bad. He's trying to kill this pack, I think. There he goes. Now he's got to uh, get out of dodge and get some repairs. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose that. He's going to push his advantage, though. I don't know if that's a good idea. Wow. Defensive artillery? He can see... Uh... Oh, yeah, registered. Middle, yeah. That wasn't worth it. Did he build the second Oswind even after the Sherman was out there? No, no he, he had, had the Oswind, second Oswind before he yeah, knew he was that the there was a line. Sherman. This Grenadier squad needs to leave. Yes, another Sherman. That's actually, I think, the correct answer to this. Because right now, all he has is the packs. If he had packs and a bunch of Shreks already built, another Sherman wouldn't necessarily be a good idea. Mm -hmm. But two Shermans can do a lot of damage. What's this half track doing on the left here? It's like, it's just, oh my god. It's got nobody in it. It's got nope. nobody on the gun. It's just driving around. Yep. Joyride into a hedge and parking. <laughs> funny. Pack had a rear shot on that Sherman, too. Well, he is producing the counter to Sherman's uh, one panther. Ooh. If he micros that correctly, it's GG. Perhaps. Great harassment by the American. Are you seeing this? Like, he took the 10 back that he lost, like, two squads to. And uh, he's taking back the left hand side now. But a third Sherman coming out from the tank depot, by the way. He needs to get the upgraded gun. Is he going for that, by chance? He doesn't have it queued yet, no. That costs, uh, he's got plenty of fuel for it. What does it cost? Like, 200 manpower or something, though? Yeah. He's grabbing the resources. Are they pioneers? Uh, I don't think he grabbed the munitions out of that wreck. Pioneers can use their uh, special ability to reclaim munitions from the resources there. He could do that, but he doesn't have any pios. He hasn't for like 10 minutes. Oh, jeez. Um, he needs to keep repairing his Shermans, because if that, that panther's out now, this is bad. He's not going to be expecting this either, I don't think. Probably not. Three Shermans, even not upgunned, though, could be devastating. It really depends on those packs. 
It depends on the micro, too, yeah. He's got a Shrek squad, too. I think the Americans really need to get their, uh, their rifles all in place to really nail the pack, and then the Shermans can have an advantage. Well, they how also, much does he have left for strafing run? He's got 265. He have, no. Dude, he could do bombing he's run. He's also then. got bombing run, yeah. Ooh. All the Shermans need Blanky to be at Shermans, first strength, yeah. too. There's the first Sherman takes a shot. Reveal the Driving pack. head on. Admiral, we have enemy ships in sector 47. It's a trap. Whoa! Ooh, look at that. And a back shot from the Sherman. Another one. Oh, gone. Oh, God. Just like that. And all Good, Shermans all right, are going to survive. Wow. Wow, that is game. I, I, I don't know how he can recover from that. That was so... That, that was, was so much of a loss. It was Vet 1, too. That was devastating. I can't believe he didn't get one Sherman from that. Where was his that Shrek was squad? Their Shrek run. squad was all the way on the right. Oh, yeah, it was man. All that was one of the best bomber runs I've ever seen, to be honest. That was yeah. perfect. It hit the engine, like, twice. It was a oh direct hit. I think it did more than half damage to it. Yeah. He's got a Shrek squad in the bunker. That's a great place to put one, actually. Enemy unit dead. Poor Osmonds. If he can take out a Sherman, then he might get himself back in the game. But Crocodile it's still gonna out, be... Though. That'll counter the Grims. Oh, no. Sherman spam. I haven't seen that Look in a that. long time. Look at that. Just dead instantly. Yep, wow. They're gone. Shrek this. Yeah. One of our Shermans has been destroyed. He fausted a... Oh, yeah. Fausted a tank in the uh, bear base. Well, that's good. That'll kind of help. He needs another Panther right now, though. He's not got another bombing run up his sleeve, I'll tell you that. He's saving manpower for it now, I think. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Without the he's... bombing run, that would have been a much tighter battle. Well, you successfully did one-sixth damage to that crocodile, and now you have nothing left to hit it with. Mm-hmm. He still has 120 munis. He could get double Shreks, but I don't know if that's a wise move. Jeez, the, I mean, the Wehrmacht player has one Grenadier squad left. Yeah. But the American player, did he lose? He lost a couple rifle squads that he hasn't rebuilt. He lost two to the Osvens, and then I don't know if you... No, he did because he only had three the whole game, I'm pretty sure. Really? So, so you just, think he never he built never any new ones? Them. He built the Shermans instead. It turned out working perfectly for him, though. Americans creeping in here to grab the VPs. Yeah, if only Shermans could cap, right? Yes, exactly, but a nice counter with the machine guns there. He knew. Stellux knew that he was going to sneak around and grab the <laughs> VP there, because that's what he's been doing all game, is harassing that VP point. Is that another Sherman I just heard pop out? It is. Yep. So we've got three Shermans If he gets Shermans the upgraded again. gun, oh my god, dude. Does he another have Another Panther coming out. I don't think he has it. Oh, man. No, it's not It's not noticeable. He doesn't have the 50 cal either, but he doesn't need it. I mean, that, that Panther... Uh, I mean, that Pinsir was amazing. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. He had the one Sherman over on the side, and then the Grenz that weren't paying attention, he was shooting at them, and then he came up at the perfect time to hit it in the butt twice. Destroyed it. Oh, Shrek missed on the left. Crocodile got a level of veterancy. Oh, it doesn't take a lot of it. Oh my god, Sherman sandwich in middle. Two packs, which are not lined up really well. And a strafing there. run helps kill them. Oh man, we're gonna have to see some magic micro. From this panther, that's vet one. That bunker's gone. Shrek's in like the a base might kill the, the croc if they do. He's not paying attention. Like a freaking pack of hyenas. He just died! <laughs> Never mind. Last rifle squad just died at the VP, Bridger. Ooh, was it uh, registered artillery? Artillery, yeah, yeah. Where is he going? Oh, he's trying to chase the weakened oh, one. Sherman's are running. He's got it. <laughs> he's got it. No, oh, it just destroyed the engine. Now kill everybody else, quick! He fugged it. He fugged it. Wow. That, he might come right back into this here. He might, but 
he has no, he's building Pyos now, and the only infantry unit that Sefa has is an engineer squad. <laughs> yeah, it's all tanks here. This is ridiculous. Like Kursk or something. But this one Panther, because they, he managed to get it in front, they've got the up gun now, don't they? I yeah, think they, they do. do. Yeah, and they were running when he was chasing them. That wasn't the best thing. But... Don't chase him with this. Go back to your base and kill the croc. Yeah, he needs to kill that croc. There's a Come double on. vet okay. Sherman in there, though. I think he needs to get back to his base. He's M10s too. Is he building anything, or is he just saving to build some infantry? He needs some infantry. These pioneers standing outside the base are like, "Oh my God, our bunker is destroyed." <laughs> yeah. Suffice it to say, the bunker got destroyed. The map is yep. a whole lot different without that hedge in the middle. Thank you, Panther. So He's trying to hunt now. down that dang croc. The enemy is down to 200 points. I think it's out of there already, though. Yeah. He's going to repair the panther. It's at vet 1, too. That's useful. He's building a second bridger. A oh second boy. panther? Yeah. That'll do it, especially if he gets vet 2 with it. He needs to be able to cap things, though. Yeah, He's he does. Got... He has two piles. They're roving around right now, but... He's still got time. Rifle squad just got built, though. It's gonna be hard for the even two Panthers to deal with rifles, especially if they yeah, get some stickies yeah, isn't in that there. Great? <laughs> and if the, he's got almost enough for a bombing run again, that could seal the deal if he can get one of these Panthers with upgun Sherman and a bombing run. An M10. Yeah. That's yep. an oh, he predicted a second a second Panther. Of course, M10 counters infantry just as easily. Crunch, crunch, Ooh, crunch. Does. BS. See a lot more infantry play. I'm hoping we get Knight's Cross after he finishes his second He definitely Panther. needs some Knight's Cross. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, crush well, everything. Hedges. Open up your whole base. No problem. <laughs> no problem. I think he's doing that on purpose. <laughs> See the base? Come look at it. He's pulling them towards the second Panther, which is now out on the field. Great micro. Look at that. Keeping the perfect base front. Perfect. It's taken. Uh oh. Oh no! Good. That one Sherman might be in, or Panther might be in trouble. He's trying these to Shermans take one out. Sherman's have a lot more health than these Panthers collective, though. Uh, that M10 is at full. He couldn't save it. Oh my god! The M10's in the rear now, though. Wow, Another M10. Down from middle. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's definitely GG. I think. What a game. I, I haven't seen this much armor in a 1v1 since like 1.3. I know. This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, it, it, you can see the difference. Like, the Panther was owning and then he gave up and stopped microing it and now it's just dying. <laughs> yep. He uh, couldn't kill the vet too either. I was hoping he'd try and get that. That was a that was a phenomenally interesting game. I really enjoyed that. That entire final battle came down to that bombing run, because that panther was doing perfectly. It was perfectly yep. microed. It still had over half health, and it was you know the second one came out was on the, was on the verge of flanking the Shermans, and then mm -hmm. the bombing run kicks in, knocks it down to half, and makes it run away instead of being the dominating po power there. So I can't believe that game. I mean, that that just proves that bombing runs are useful. Bombing runs can counter Panthers when used correctly. <laughs> like, it seemed like, you know, well, Seth has been in this useful. game forever, so he knew exactly where to miss. lay that thing. Yeah. He knew exactly where to put that thing. That was, that was, an, that was fantastic. It really was. I mean, he kind of made it like a creeping barrage. Like, once it was there... <laughs> If he tried to back up towards his base, he would have walked into it, too. Mm-hmm. An interesting... That was really something. Interesting deal there. So, I have to say, that was... That was excellent. <laughs> so, we did pull this off of game replays, but I did want to try and get some really well, uh, high-skill play in here. Uh, which uh, reminds me, don't forget, we've got a contest for the month of August... Uh, if you've got a high skill replay, meaning if you imagine there's three tiers of Company of Heroes and you have one that you feel co uh, falls into the top tier of, uh, of skill there, then uh, we might like to uh, take a look at it. We're looking for 1v1 specifically, but 2v2s could work also. Uh, the winner gets a Dawn of War Dark Crusade poster signed by Relic, which I have had for a while and I'm trying to get rid of because we don't have enough wall space. Um, <laughs> nobody's getting my Company of Heroes one, though. That one's just too awesome. I'm going to hold on to that forever.
And my Rise of Nations poster. Those are those are both my cherished Rise of Nations posters signed by Brian Reynolds. It's awesome. All right. So, um, yeah. I don't think there's much to say about that game. Had some awesome, great moments. But uh, any any final comments? That was just, I mean, it seemed, I didn't know who was going to win the whole time. I mean, to be honest, I thought that with the Panthers, he was going to be able to push back and he was getting a little bit more capping power, uh, Solex. But, I mean, the bombing runs were phenomenal and the, the Sherman micro was very good as well. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Well done, Sefa, and well played Solex as well. That was a, that must have been a very difficult game, you, you know, heart beating, heart pounding, and you know, palm sweating. Oh man, that's why I still love this game because it can still do that to me too. So I can imagine. I mean, the 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 German player just had such a hard time preventing those rifle blobs from killing him once they started sniping his machine guns. I mean, mm-hmm. ah, it what is he like gonna Airborne do? Airborne was the perfect counter to everything he was doing. The packs, the snipers, the bombing runs. I'm mean, strafes. Did you see how many it kill when you strafe the medic bunker? It killed like ten. Yeah. That was amazing. Very I think very well played. The strafing run works the same way as machine guns do. Uh, the more uh, units are in its sights, the more damage it winds up doing. So if you can line up, you know, two or three squads in it, it'll do a lot of damage to them. If it's just a single squad, it'll pin them and do some damage, but not a whole lot. So that, that, that I think is a good tweak for, for how it is right now. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. Before it was like, it, it was fluctuating between ridiculous and useless. <laughs> but yeah. I think it's at an okay right point right now. Yeah. So I guess that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Tales of Heroes number 80. Is this really number 80? Yep, number 80. Ridiculous, number 80. All right, we'll come back for you next week with another Training Tuesdays, this time uh, for real. Uh, yeah. Not not for fake, but for real this time. Don't forget, send in any uh, any regular replays to TOH replays at sound-strategy.net. If you have any that you want to enter into the contest that are high skill 1v1 or 2v2 games, please send them to contest at sound-strategy.net. That is a special email specifically for the contest. And uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Have a good day. We look forward to seeing you again on the battlefield.